I'm Cece. I'm gonna tell you about the Tower Garden today. More specifically, about how to get the perfect pH balance in your water. First of all, I'd like to show you my Tower Garden. As you can see, the Tower Garden is a soilless tower that houses many different kinds of plants where the water filters up and trickles down and gives it nutrition every single day. So, stay with me because today we're gonna learn how to create the perfect pH balance in your tower garden water. Today we're gonna teach you how to do a perfect pH balance in your water. I'm going to pretend like this is the base of the tower garden today. And I'm going to put food in it first, and then we're gonna test the pH. The food for your tower garden looks like this, and you can get it from a Juice Plus representative near you. I sell Juice Plus also, and uh, you can look at a link below if you want to order it from me. Okay, so this gives you the instruction on how much Tower Tonic A and Tower Tonic B that you need. And it says it on the back. So you need to measure out the perfect amount of the Tower Tonic A and the Tower Tonic B Okay, once you put your food inside your water, you wanna stir it up. Then you're gonna test the pH balance. This is my assistant, and he's going to get exactly five milliliters of water in this little vial. And then we're gonna put these red drops in the vial, and we want the water to be this color. This color, this color, or this color. We want it to be 6.0 through seven, pH balance. Okay, so now let's put the water, let's put the drops of water in it. I'm going to put five drops in it. So, because it's red, we know that the pH balance is way too low. So throw that water out. Now, we are going to take our pH balance buffers. One raises the pH balance and one lowers the pH balance. So we know that the pH balance was red, so it was too which low. Which, 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 so which, we which. need to raise the pH which balance. Which one does which? Which one does which? Okay, this one is pH negative, so it says lowers solution pH. And this one says pH plus, which is a base, and it raises the pH. So we need to raise the pH. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in there. And then I'm gonna stir it up. Make sure you got all that water out. No, Ooh. no, because that was the old water. There you go. Well, no, I hadn't put the pH in yet. Now test the water again. Okay. Now, put five drops in it. Ah, oh, look at that. It turned green. So it's perfect. What do you think? Hey. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? What do you think? So look, it's, it's, it's green now. So we know that the pH balance, you stop. The pH balance goes from six to seven. And that is good. And that is how you get the perfect pH balance, and that will be the perfect nutrition for the food in your tower garden. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoy your tower garden. I'm adding the water to the base of my tower garden since I got the pH balance just right. And do you need to do this every day? No, you need to check the pH balance once a week. And you also need to check the level of your water inside your tower garden. It needs to be up to the top because 
sometimes in the hotter months water evaporates what are the hotter months well july and august okay and now i will turn my tower garden back on so that uh, my plants can get nutrition can i turn them back on okay oh, wow. mama <laughs> 